Warning. The following video contains hunting and shooting that's educational in nature, but may be offensive to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. It's the opening weekend of the 2017 deer season right here in Texas, and we are stoked. And I'm so happy to have Rick back. You know, last year he was here, he took the biggest buck of his life, and he did it on camera with archery equipment. This year he's back, and I think he's going to be even more impressed this year than he was last year. FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. It is wonderful. I love doing this kind of thing. I love it. I'm Rick, this is uh, my 48th year bull hunting. I've been looking forward to this hunt all year long and I can't wait to get it started. I'm hunting this year at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. I hunted here last year with Keith. The reason I came back is he's got some monster bucks walking this ranch. Last year I hunted here with Keith and right at dark I shot a monster 200 class buck. I couldn't see my arrow, but this year I can because I brought me a Luminoc arrow along. What's awesome here at, uh, at the ranch is the fact that whether you're an archery hunter or you're a gun hunter, the blinds are fantastic. Uh, Keith has, I don't know, 15, 20 shadow hunter blinds scattered throughout the property. And then for those guys that want to bow hunt and move around a little bit, they can put up tree stands for you. And I'll tell you what's really fun here is just being around Keith Warren the last couple of years, this man is totally committed to raising big deer. I mean, it is a passion with him. Also, the uh, the deer, the fat on him, you just can't believe it. Uh, Keith uh, feeds record rack, and I'll tell you what, it pays big dividends. I tell you guys, last year the deer were phenomenal here, but this year you cannot believe the fat on these deer. I mean, they just jumped to a completely different level. What's really neat here is Keith has Reconix game cameras spread throughout the ranch and earlier this summer, um, you know, he's always constantly posting these pictures on Facebook and uh, early in uh, June, I saw some pictures of some of these deer and there's one particular buck I'm after and I sure hope I get an opportunity at him. Game cameras are one of the most used pieces of equipment uh, by hunters all over the world nowadays and the reason why is because Hey, let's face it, they make hunting a whole lot easier to be able to find whatever it is that you're after. But there's so many different game cameras on the market. I get asked all the time, why in the world do you choose Reconyx? And to me, uh, you know, I could choose any camera that I wanted. But the reason I choose Reconyx is simple. It's that just like everything else in life, you get what you pay for. There's a lot of inexpensive game cameras out there and they may last you one season. They certainly aren't gonna last you two seasons. But when you buy a Reconyx, you're making an investment that's gonna last you many, many, many seasons and you get hundreds of thousands of images with it. I know because I've been using them for 10 years, they're simple to use, you get what you pay for and the quality of the image is incredible. Uh, the, the saying, see what you've been messing, really is true. And so when asked why I use Reconyx cameras, that's it in a nutshell. My first evening hunt here, guys, was incredible. Um, I was sitting in a tree stand. I saw 15 different bucks, and I gotta tell you, I mean, I had some deer all over me. I had a hard time not shooting an arrow because I knew this one particular buck that I saw on Facebook, but uh, the first evening hunt, I mean, it just didn't get any better than that. If I don't get a deer while I'm here, I've had a great time already. This particular stand is very tight. My shot's probably gonna be 25 yards or less. This, uh, this particular site has Reconyx game cameras up and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get a, a shot, of, uh, shot of, the, of the kill on this. 
The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, Walls Pro Series, Legendary Arms Works, Sightmark, and Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. The High Road will be right back. Now, it's time for viewer feedback, brought to you by Protect the Harvest, Protect the Hunt. All right, here's a really good question. It's from a viewer by the name of Jason. He says, how long should it take to be able to determine if you're making progress with a supplemental feeding program, and how would you know? Jason and everybody else, if you want to know what it takes to grow big deer, it takes commitment, and it takes time. Time is not one of those things that's going to come, uh, come quickly, I can promise you. But when you wind up starting on the game management program, you've got to know where you are. It's just like if somebody dropped you in the middle of a city and you're trying to get the heck out of the city, you got to figure out where you are to get out of the city. So the first thing you need to do is get a lot of good data. And, and what I would do is get data on the animals that you harvest. How many days are you putting in for the animals before you take one? What are their body weights? What are their conditions? What's the sex? What's the age? That's a good way to get started. Once you get some good data and figure out where you are, start feeding supplemental feed, like record rack deer feed, and do it every day, 24-7, 365 days a year, and then get that same amount of data down the road a year or two years down the road and compare it to where you were, and you're going to be blown away. You're going to be able to measure then how far you've come with your game management program. If you're watching this program right now online and you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. If you're not watching online, you can go to my website and watch all of our shows 24-7. This is second evening of the hunt, and uh, I am absolutely stoked. Keith and I are up in a tree. We no more get up in the stand 15 minutes, and we've got bucks poured into this area. It was incredible. Guys, being a bull hunter for 48 years, something that's really important is the fact of controlling your order, and uh, we, are, um, we are spraying ourselves down big time with scent killer. As a hunter, guys, there's a lot of a lot of good things comes from a game camera, but also some bad things. I mean, I already had this, I got this one deer in mind in particular that I want to hunt, but man, there are some incredible deer walking by me, and I'm not sure if I should wait or not. So Keith and I are up in this stand and we've got deer pouring in around us and there's about a 190 class buck about 10 yards under me and I turned around I looked at Keith and I said, Keith, do you think I should? And he says, no hold off and I'm glad he did. It was almost black dark and we're getting, we're, we're finishing up our hunt. Our hunt's basically done. And Keith says, here he comes. And I tell you, my heart about drops.
Oh my gosh. Holy Toledo. My, my word. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Holy Toledo. Man, this is unbelievable, isn't it, Keith? I mean, golly, I mean, look at this deer. I'm gonna count his points. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 points. My word, guys. Um, I never thought it would get any better than last year. I came down here and hunted with Keith Warren last year and uh, he and I and Bob shot a real nice deer, scored a little over 200, 18 pointer. That was the greatest deer I'd ever shot in my life and there hasn't been a day gone by the last year I hadn't thought about it. Little did I know I would get a shot at something like this. This is just, um, this is unbelievable. And again, as I mentioned the other day to Keith and Bob, um, I said, you know, this is my 48th day of um, opening archery season. Um, I turned 63 here pretty soon. And guys, I mean, I, I don't think I'll ever top this as, as long as I live, but um, this is just, just unbelievable. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Pulsar, Timber Creek Outdoors, Legends Ranch, the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Now it's time for Gear Care, brought to you by the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. Ooh. Model 1911s can be finicky if you've ever shot one. And the reason why is most of them have gone dry. I'm gonna let Lisa Marie show you how to fix that problem. You can see, Keith, there's not a bit of oil on this gun. It is dry. We just need to oil it up and, and it should run very well. We wanna put a little bit of oil right here on the rails and let it run down. We'll put a little oil on the barrel. And then on the inside of the slide. Work that slide just a little bit. She should be good to go now. Woo-hoo-hoo! That fixed that problem. Get some Lucas Oil Extreme Duty Gun Oil. For more information on the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, visit our website and join us on Facebook for more gear care tips. Joining me also this weekend is my friend Kevin. Kevin works for Pulsar and uh, Pulsar makes great thermal and night vision imaging equipment uh, that we use for all kinds of hunting, predators and hogs. And uh, Kevin is an outdoor writer too. He's published over 1,500 articles and so he's a well-seasoned outdoor writer. I'm Kevin Reese. I'm with Pulsar Thermal Imaging and Night Vision and Sightmark Optics. I'm down here at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch for the opening weekend of deer season. The opening day of deer season, I'm super excited to be down here. Keith's been trying to get me down here since early summer to get some photos. I'm an outdoor writer and photographer, uh, um, so I stay busy. And this is what I love to do. This is what I do for a living. And I'm just super excited to be uh, spending the weekend with Keith Warren. Now the blind I've got Kevin sitting in, uh, well, I was in that blind about a week ago. And it's overlooking a water hole. And I'm telling you what, the other day I wound up and took Maddie and we shot a black buck on video with the Timber Creek guys. And uh, while we were sitting there waiting on the black buck to show up, I must have had 10, 12, maybe 15 different bucks show up to this water hole. And they came in and they put on a show. It was incredible. 
And so nobody's been out here to disturb it. Kevin's never even gotten a shot at a big deer. And we're fixing to change that. Man, I know there's a lot of great deer out here. I know there's some, some monsters out here. I'm just out here looking for a management buck, uh, maybe an eight or nine pointer. Um, I've heard those are big too. So Keith, Keith promised me that uh, some of these management bucks are, are monsters. Uh, these deer I've seen, I saw a couple driving in there, biggest I've ever seen. Man, it's a beautiful day. What a great way to start off a deer season. It's about 70 degrees out here. The skies are blue. Hardly a breeze in the sky. I mean, you couldn't get a you couldn't get better weather out here. I'm super excited to get get going. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by AirVenturi.com, Liberty Safe, Shadow Hunter Blinds, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, and Tannerite Brand Binary Rifle Targets. The High Road will be right back. And at dusk when the sun came up, it was, it was pretty amazing. There were five or six uh, bucks that came down off this ridge and circled around this uh, tank. Um, the biggest bucks I've ever seen in my life. They came down to the tank, uh, they were drinking water and drifted back and forth. Uh, we watched them for a while. I took three, 400 images. Uh, and, then, uh, and then we looked over to the right and there were two or three big bucks. Uh, I mean, monsters, great 10, great ten pointers. Uh, they were drifting down off this ridge uh, through this dark patch of woods. We watched them for a little bit, and then this buck came from the right just out of nowhere. Um, looked like a great mainframe eight, uh, and he just walked right past us to the right, uh, not too far away, and I pointed out to Keith, and Keith looked at it and said, shoot that deer. just came in from the right man we said we're watching bucks everywhere we're just taking some pictures and right off to my right not even 20 yards away the buck came out that trail right there he went right up by them trees over there i got the green light and busted him i don't think he went 20 yards i think i saw him crash over by the water this place is amazing man i've never seen bucks like this You gotta see how big this sucker is. Wait a second. Oh my. Oh. Look, at this. Look at this guy, man. Look, look at that. It's, so, it's amazing. This is the biggest buck I've ever seen. Man. Oh, it's not the biggest buck I've ever seen because. I've seen the biggest buck I've ever seen were a little while ago. This is the biggest buck I've ever killed, man. This is amazing. I can't even believe it. Man, I gotta come back. If y'all haven't been down here, man, with Keith hunting Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, man, you need to come down here. Look at this guy, man. This guy's a beast. My God. So it's been a pretty good weekend here on the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. You know, we had a, a bow hunter take his biggest deer he's ever taken in his life, twice in a row, as a matter of fact. And uh, we had a, a rifle hunter take the biggest deer he's ever taken in his life. One was a trophy buck, one was a management buck, but you know what, they were both trophies. And, 
and I love being with these guys. This is where I am. This is where my heart is when I'm not here. I am here on this ranch. I love it. I live to grow big white-tailed deer and share that experience with others. And it's been a great weekend. It's been hot. We've seen a lot of good deer and we've got a really good season coming up. And we accommodate both bow hunters and rifle hunters. Our stands are real comfortable. We've got big box stands, there's shadow hunter blinds. And uh, for people that are not capable of getting up in a tree, you can bow hunt out of a, out of a box blind on the ground or we've got some slightly elevated box blinds, or we've got ladder stands like what Rick was hunting in. So we can accommodate any type of hunter, really a bow hunter, a gun hunter. But the kind of hunter that I want is somebody that is passionate about the outdoors, passionate about what we do and respects others and respects the fact that, that this just didn't happen by accident. Me busting my hump out here every single weekend, every single evening to come out here and make this better than it was when I found it. So the hunters that come out here, the few people that do come out here and hunt, will have the time of their life. I want them to, yes, see great big deer and hopefully take home the biggest deer they've ever taken in their life. But I want them to take home a big time because that's what it's all about. It's like what we always call in the industry, and I think we coined the term, joy of the hunt. That's what it's all about. It's about the joy of the hunt.